Hey guys, welcome to Learn SQL with Brew. This is Brew Medishetty. In this session, we are going to see what is backup compression in SQL Server, which is introduced in SQL Server 2008, and how do we configure the default backup compression option in SQL Server, either 2008 or 2008R2. As I told earlier, SQL Server 2008 introduced a feature called backup compression where you can compress your backups while doing a backup without any third party tool. And in SQL Server 2008, this feature was available only in Enterprise Edition. Sorry. So this feature was available only in Enterprise Edition and it was not supported in any of the other versions. So you cannot compress a backup using a 2008 uh, standard edition. But starting from 2008 R2, what SQL Server has done is it has expanded the feature to other editions also starting with standard edition, enterprise edition and there is another edition called data center edition inside SQL or uh, starting from SQL Server 2008 R2. So these three editions apart from uh, developer and enterprise eval, these developer and enterprise eval, eval editions are the same as enterprise edition in 2008 or 2008R2. So starting from 2008R2, these two new editions also got this support feature or this feature getting supported from SQL Server. So what happens with the backup compression? Pretty simple. Database backup size gets compressed. So let's say you have a database of 100 gigs and you do a normal backup in SQL Server 2008 standard edition where there is no compression, you would have the backup size of whatever is the data filled. Let's say in a 100, G, 100 gig database, you have 90 gigs of data inside it and 10, gig, 10 gigs is free space. So 10 gigs is free space. So your backup in SQL Server 2008 or without a compression, your backup would be that size, 90, 90 gigs. But with backup compression, you can reduce that size by sometimes by one, one fourth of it, sometimes by one fifth also. It all depends on what kind of data is uh, stored inside your database. So what happens is the backup compression compresses your backup to, let's say if it's one third, it would be 30 gigs. So that's an advantage where you save a ton of space like 60 gigs on a uh, 100 gig database you're saving almost 60 percent of it or sometimes it might be 75 percent or it depends on you know the data inside the database so this is one of the advantages that is space required for the backups the second advantage would be quickness the databases are going to be backed up more quicker than it was without a compression because it is now a smaller size and most of the time the backup taken is uh, it actually depends on the underlying io disk io so the disk I.O., however fast it is, it depends on that speed. But uh, since it's going to be a smaller database uh, backup, it would be a quicker backup. So the advantages would be smaller and quicker. I'm sorry for that. So these are the advantages. What about the disadvantages? Uh, well, to compress a backup, CPU has to have a usage. So system would, would require more CPU power than a normal uncompressed backup. So these, this is what you have to know about uh, using a backup compression. That's a brief introduction about what a backup compression is in SQL Server 2008 or 2008 R2. And let's now go ahead and see how do we configure that. This backup compression by default is disabled. So it's not enabled. We need to enable that after we install SQL Server. So let's do that in the next video.